Hi there, Greg Holmeson with part three in our series, in our deep dive into recruiting out of the Philippines, when in fact we can't travel to do the assessments ourselves. So we've covered off, our, it firstly, our lineup, our process to selecting our candidates, the trade skills assessment that we need for our, our Trades Recognition Australia or our Cert 3 for our application for our visa. And we're now at the stage of lodging the visa. So we've got our candidate and the work that we need to do now is all of the evidence based around education, schooling, and making sure that the candidate has everything ticked when it comes to showing our immigration department that this is a valid candidate for entry into Australia. But the really important thing now is to do with how we show our immigration department the client's um, job and what's happening as far as what the role the candidates will be doing and the salary that they'll be getting paid. We need to do labour market testing, market salary evidence to show our government that what we're paying our Filipinos is indeed the same amount as an Australian would be getting paid doing the same job. So that's a big part of putting all of that together to prepare and then lodge the visas. Now, today, as I speak in this environment, we need a travel ban exemption when we go to lodge our visas. Now this is um, pretty broad actually. So we need a travel ban exemption to be able to land someone in Australia at this time because our borders are closed. Now we have been successful in getting some people through with a travel ban exemption. We've had people turn up this year, but it is hit and miss. And this is where we firmly believe that as things roll on, the uh, vaccine rolls out, uh, there are a lot less cases, and we indeed have a much bigger skill shortage than I can ever remember. So this will help with the government influencing how many people come into this country. And so that's something that we're going through a lot now with the travel ban exemption applications. And they come, across, they, they, they come about because the client is involved in essential services. Very broad, we're talking construction, logistics, infrastructure projects, mining, medical. It can be very broad, but at the end of the day, it's about putting together the evidence to show that this person is needed in the country because we do have an essential service that requires these skills. So that's the, that's the part of the challenge that we have, but we have been having some success and we expect to be having more success in that area as things start to open up now. So that's a wrap for this part. Uh, the next one will be on what happens after a candidate arrives in Australia. And this is where our Lifetime Relationships Program kicks in. So more on that in the next one. So thanks very much so far. If you've got any questions, please shoot them to me. Very happy to get involved in any conversation around what we do in recruiting out of the Philippines. Greg Holmson, Philippines Recruitment Company. Thank you.